Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. I am excited to tell you about our pattern, Tools of the Trade. We've created these bags to make carrying your supplies a breeze. How many times have you headed to class, loaded down with a sewing machine, fabrics, tools, and supplies, and struggled to carry your larger cutting mat and rulers? They don't fit in your bag, your tote, or anywhere. Making an extra trip is out of the question, so you end up carrying them in your arms or stuffing them precariously into a bag. Invariably, something goes wrong, and you end up with a chipped edge, a broken ruler, or worse. Tools of the Trade offers a better solution. These functional carriers in two sizes are designed to store, protect, and carry oversized items, such as rulers, cutting mats, sketchbooks, even computers. The sleek design of these portfolios ensures sturdy stability and makes it easy to access items inside without even opening the bag. Just lift the flap and remove the items you need. Slip and zippered pockets on the outside are perfect for items you need quickly, such as keys or phones. Or lay the bag down, zip open the sides, and you'll have full visibility and access to everything inside. To save space, the front of the bag can just fold over, reducing the amount of space required for access. A large zippered mesh pocket, as well as a padded sleeve, and a variety of fabric and mesh dividers keep tools and supplies organized while maintaining visibility and easy access. When you're ready to go, just re-zip the sides and close the flap. Long handles allow the bag to be carried over the shoulder or even crossbody for easy, hands-free carrying. There are so many ways to use tools of the trade. Obviously, any quilter is going to love either of these bags for carrying large items to classes or retreats. The small bag is sized to hold a 12-inch by 18-inch mat, or Ulfa's awesome folding 18-inch by 24-inch mat and rulers of about the same size. The large bag will hold a mat up to 18 inches by 24 inches, as well as the largest stripology ruler or my favorite 20 and a half inch square and 6 by 24 inch rulers. A pressing mat will provide extra protection for rulers and slides in and out easily when it's time to press. Rotary cutters, smaller rulers, thread, chalk markers, and more are easy to access when stored in the mesh dividers. The large interior mesh pocket is perfect for holding fabrics and a project in process. For those who need even more organization, here's a great tip. Our pocket packers will fit perfectly inside the bag. These bags in four styles have lots of pockets on front and back and are perfect for carrying all the parts and pieces for a project. Layer them inside, zip the bag shut, and you're ready to roll with just one bag to carry. Machine embroiderers will appreciate the compartments in the bag for carrying supplies to and from class. There's room for hoops of various sizes, stabilizers, centering rulers, thread, and more. I love using this small tools of the trade to carry my laptop computer and all my paperwork to and from the office. I slide my computer behind the padded sleeve, then use the fabric dividers to organize folders, bills, envelopes, deposit slips, and more. The mesh dividers organize pens, pencils, stamps, chargers, and cords, and everything is easy to see and access. The long handles make it easy to carry all of this, and the outer slip pocket provides easy access to my phone, keys, and shopping list, as well as mail and bank deposits to drop off on the way home. Tools of the Trade is also perfect for artists and creatives who need to store and carry oversized sketch pads, drawing boards, and supplies. This would also be a perfect bag for a makeup artist or beautician to carry the tools of her trade. Made of sturdy canvas and laminated fabric, it will definitely stand the test of time. This bag will make a great gift for my young friend who is interested in architecture and home design. 
graph paper, a T-square, compass, and other draftsman's tools will fit perfectly in the various dividers and will be easy to access when she's ready to work. What better way to encourage her interest than to provide quality tools and a way to store and use them? My daughter-in-law will love this large tools of the trade to hold all of my grandson's art masterpieces. She said she'll keep it in the car so that large pieces don't get bent and ruined before they get home. My grandson is sure to enjoy the smaller carrier. I've filled it with some fun and sturdy workbooks for drawing and learning, as well as books and toys to keep him entertained on the road, in a doctor's office or restaurant, or at home. Mindy, one of our Biani team members, drafts her own patterns for sewing clothes and accessories. She says the bag is perfect for storing and carrying her slopers, French curve rulers, and other pattern drafting supplies. I am sure that you will think of many ways to use these functional carriers, too. We can't wait to see what you make and how you use them. As with all Biani patterns, Tools of the Trade includes complete step-by-step -step instructions for both the small and the large bag, along with lots of helpful illustrations, cutting layouts, and handy labels for labeling the pieces that you cut. You'll love the bulleted checkboxes by each step that help you keep track of where you are in the process. We've also filmed an add-on video to assist you with the project. This video series will help you with these steps. An overview of the project, attaching zippers to the side strips, attaching handles to the bag front, and binding the bag front. Note that the add-on video doesn't replace the pattern. Rather, it enhances your sewing experience, ensuring that you are successful and teaching you our best techniques. The clear and complete pattern instructions, combined with the add-on video, make Tools of the Trade a pattern that can be accomplished by confident beginners to more advanced makers. If you're brand new to Biani projects, you may want to make the small bag first. The process is exactly the same for both the small and the large, but the smaller pieces will be easier to maneuver. The project is very straightforward, and if you need help, the add-on video and other video tutorials at Biani.com will walk you step-by-step step through the more unique or challenging aspects. I have loved being able to safely carry my large rulers and cutting mat when I sew away from home. Being able to organize all my necessary tools and supplies in one bag while keeping my hands free is so appreciated. I know that you'll enjoy making and using your own tools of the trade, too. Please check out our Tools of the Trade A Closer Look video for additional info about gathering supplies. We can't wait to see what you make, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube by using at Patterns by Annie. You may also email photos to us at marketing at if you liked this video, please give us some feedback by clicking on the Like button below. Remember to hit the Subscribe button, too, so you are sure to be notified when we post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stitching!